Hi there. I just happen to be in your neighborhood. My name is Chris Dawes, and I'm the lead pastor at Valley Christian Church, Assembly of God, in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And I would love to visit you. I'd love to get to know you better, love to pray for you, and be happy to encourage you with God's Word. But I'm just one person. So I've invited my pastor friends to help me with this. And today, we'd like to make a personal house call. This is the Pastor's House Call. Good morning, and welcome to Pastor's House Call. It's good to have you with me this morning as we endeavor into the Advent season, a wonderful season of the year. And not even snow can uh, keep away the joy of, of this coming in this wonderful season that we're in. Uh, again, I just uh, thank you for being here today, and uh, hopefully it is a wonderful day as we gather in the name of our Lord and the Savior, Jesus Christ, for this midweek devotion and uh, moving us towards, once again, Sunday when we can just uh, glorify and worship our Lord. You know, Matthew 13, 44 says, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. And a man finds that treasure and then covers it up. And then in his joy, he went and sold all that he had and bought that field. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, again, we just thank you and praise you, Lord, because we know that you're with us, that you're always present, and that you just desire to bless your children. That wherever we are to surrender our lives to you and glorify you with our lives, Lord, you're there just to be there in a special way to just uh, anoint our lives. And so again, Lord, we just ask you to, to bless this time today, to bless this devotion, and uh, Lord, to touch hearts. And as we get into the season, Lord, that the world around us will have that baby born in the manger, born in their hearts discover the wonders of that love and grace of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. In his name we pray. Amen. Once there was a wealthy man who shared a passion with his son for art collecting. And I mean, they had amazing, priceless treasures from Picasso, Van Gogh, and Monet. Now, as winter approached and war had engulfed the nation, the young man left to serve his country. And then, unfortunately, a few weeks later, he was killed in action. Distraught and lonely, the father faced the upcoming Christmas season all alone. And he was, like I said, distraught and lonely and he was filled with despair and sadness. Now on Christmas morning, he was awakened by a knock at the door. And when he went to the door, there was a soldier standing there with this large package in his hand. He said, I was a friend of your son. And he said, in fact, I was the man whose life he saved when he died, and I have something that I would like to give you. The soldier mentioned that he was an artist, and then he gave to the father the present that he had brought, this package, and it was a painting of the man's son. Now, none of the world's great art critics or, you know, experts would have ever considered a work of genius, but the painting featured the man's son an amazing and striking detail. Overcome with emotion, the father hung that portrait over the fireplace, removing pictures of worth millions and millions of dollars just to have that picture sit there in the middle. And he spent Christmas just sitting in his chair, gazing at that gift that he'd been given. The painting of his son became his most prized possession far eclipsing any piece of art that all the museums of the world clamored to own. Now the following spring, the old man died, and the art world waited in great anticipation for the upcoming auction of some of the world's most spectacular masterpieces. Now it was to take place on Christmas Day, the day he had received the gift to the son. The auction began with a painting that was not in anyone's, you know, auction list. It was the painting of the son. The auctioneer asked, who will open the bidding at $100? The room simply fell silent. Someone said, come on, let's, let's go on with the important stuff here. The auctioneer replied, we have to sell this one first. So who will take the sign? Finally, a neighbor, an old man who was a friend of the family said that he would offer $10 because that's all he had, but he, he knew the son and he would like the painting. The auctioneer said, well, going once, going twice, gone. And the gavel came down. Now, cheers filled the room. And someone said, finally, we can get onto the real treasures here. But the auctioneer looked at the room 
filled with all these people. And he announced the auction was over. <laughs> Everyone sat there in stunned silence. And they raised protests. What do you mean it's over? There's millions of dollars of artwork here. How can it be over? And the auctioneer said, well, it's really quite simple. You see, according to the will of the Father, whoever takes the Son gets it all. And my friends, that is also the message of Christmas. Whoever takes the Son gets it all. Amen.